Hey, it's Angie from Block81, and I am in the middle of trying to move all of my Git repositories from Bitbucket over to GitHub for reasons that I won't get into here. But this is gonna be a very short video, I think, so let's go ahead and dive in. So as you can see, I am here inside GitHub and I've moved a couple of repositories already. Um, so what I want to start with is actually Tower. So I use Tower for all of my Git um, commands and all that because I just, I, I don't want to deal with the terminal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this uh, Git repo called Variant Events for a particular client. And I'm going to head back over to um, GitHub here and I'm going to create a new repository. So I want to make sure it's under my Block81 account and just call it the same thing as before. And then just make sure that it's empty, meaning uh, we wanna make sure that it's private. But in addition to that, we want to make sure that there's no readme file or git ignore file um, added to the repo, as well as no license. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create repository. And then it gives me some instructions here. So now I'm going to head back into tower. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna copy this URL, the git URL and then head back into tower and under remotes i'm going to right click and click on add remote repository give this a name of github and then the url and i need to make sure that your account is set up correctly so i've done that um, and we simply add it so now we can see if i open this up it's empty so i'm just going to drag for now the main branch into github and hit publish and this shouldn't take very long, but if it does, I'll go ahead and speed up this video. A few minutes later. Okay, so that is finished. So now if I head back over to GitHub and refresh this page, not open a new tab, um, you can see that I have my main branch finally in here. So I'm going to do the do the rest, uh, the same thing with the rest of the, well, not all of the branches. I want to do develop, and I also want to do this EE updates uh, branch as well. That's for updating the CMS that this site happens to run on. So I'm gonna go ahead and, well, actually I was gonna pause the video, but this is done. So if I go back to GitHub again and I refresh, then we have three branches like we had before. Okay, great. So I've done all that and basically I could be done here, except there are a couple more steps. I actually wanna get rid of this repository in uh, in Bitbucket, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for it here. And I'm gonna head into repository settings and then under manage repository, click delete repository. Then I'm gonna head back over here, grab this URL in GitHub and paste it in here. This is just for my convenience. Um, it doesn't really do much because these are all private repositories. Nobody knows the, the URLs to them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click delete. And so that one is done. So I can close out of Bitbucket. And next, what I'm going to do is head over to Deploy HQ, which is what I use for deployment of, of uh, commits and everything to either staging or production. So I'm going to head down to the Variant Events uh, project. And then under Configuration, under Repository Configuration, I'm going to change repository. So now I want to grab GitHub, click Configure Repository. And then in here, I'm gonna choose my account. So I want it to be under Block81 because that's where it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave this checked. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna leave this checked and click on Variant Events. And wait for this to finish. Okay, that's all done. So now, It's gonna ask me for a new server, but I don't need a new server because the servers are already set up. And well, that's about it. So I have basically done away with my Bitbucket repo after I have moved it over to uh, GitHub so that it's there. And I have actually kept all of my um, commits and all of that history. So that was actually important for me to do. Um, so now I have not just my local copy on my computer, which I managed through Git Tower, or just Tower, I guess is what it's called, but um, I also have it on GitHub as kind of a secondary backup, if you will. 
So um, yeah, that's about it. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.